goodness gracious. <laughs> Uh, 11 minutes to 9, his funny rhyming books such as The Cat in the Hat and Green Eggs and Ham have captivated children for generations. Now, a new story from Dr Zeus is hitting the shelves a quarter of a century after his death. How exciting. Which pet should I get? Only recently came to light after his widow found the unfinished manuscript in their attic. Well, with us now, the award-winning children's author Robert Paul Weston, whose own work has been inspired by Dr. Zeus very much so, really, morning. isn't it? Morning. Uh, morning, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, right. um, yeah my work is it, it, extremely inspired by his, because I use the same, uh, the same poetry, the style of poetry to write my books, only I've actually written um, an entire novel in that same style. So um, just I a, really love it. Right, yeah. ju just... Um, What's it? Parse it for us, if you like, or deconstruct it. What is the style? Well, Dr. Seuss was what one of the things that made him famous w w was his verse, which was written in a, a, a rhyming rhyming couplets with uh, with sort of four stressed beats in each line. So, mm. um, try to give you. I'm using. Yeah. Well, th this. I'm just uh, passing you a random book. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> one of my favorites. In okay. Fact. So, green eggs and ham, for example sounds like this. This is not in his most traditional style, yeah. um, but it's... <laughs> Should I give me another uh, one? <laughs> that, that Sam I am, that Sam I am, I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Um, this, book, this book is actually quite famous because he wrote it um, <laughs> as a wager with, uh, with his publisher. Um, after publishing The Cat in the Hat, his, uh, his publisher said, I'll bet you couldn't write um, an entire story using only 50 words. OK, and so that's, that's what that one is. That, that, that's what this is famous. So it doesn't quite fit his, his uh, most traditional style, mm. um, but it's still incredibly impressive because yeah. 50 words and a whole story. Amazing. Um, how excited are you that there is a new book? I am quite excited. I mean, it is, it is, um, it's interesting because, you know, it's, it's a, as a writer, you wonder, you know, what... What if someone wanted to put out one of my books after I'm gone? Um, but really, I mean, if someone wants to put out one of my books after I'm gone, that means, you know, I made it. So it's, yeah, it's yeah. a fabulous thing. Um, and I think, I think because, because there's been some other books that have come out since, some other books have come out since his death. He mm -hmm. died in 1991. There's been a few other notes and sketches that were found and were sort of cobbled together into new books. This one's very special. What Pet Should I Get is special because this is the first really complete story. All the sketches were there, all the artwork was there, and uh, he's working with, uh, well, he's not working, but the editor who he worked with for the last 11 yeah. years of his life. It needed, they need, it needed a bit of work, didn't it? Because the, the illustrations were there, but they needed coloring, coloring up. I think that's we right. can look at one or two now. So. Yeah, so, so that, so that edit, I, I think that's what's, that's what's so fabulous about these, these um, drawings is, is they're, they're complete. And the colorist who did some of his famous books, like um, Oh, The Places You'll Go, one of his most famous books, is the same person who's coloring this book. Right. Um, so, uh, so I think, I think his biographer said this is the one that has the whiff of authenticity. And, and do we know why they weren't published, why it wasn't published while he was alive? Was it simply that he has, there's a whole ton of stuff which he, they never yeah. got around to doing, or, or was it because he didn't want it to be released? Or? There's no evidence he didn't want it to be released. It's just, it's, I think it's just simply a, a book, a manuscript that gets left behind. I mean, he did, I think there's 44 books in his lifetime, so he was quite prolific. Um, and there's going to be things that he, mm. that he didn't complete. I, I think we were just very lucky that this, a, 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 full, a full manuscript was found. I just love I remember them so well as well, reading them from when I was a child. Um, tell us, you've written, a, you've written a kind of tribute, especially for today as well, haven't you? <laughs> yes. Do you, uh, want to, do you want to tell us a little bit of it? For you guys, for, for breakfast, for BBC you breakfast. It's, it needs, you it's, have a needs a glass of water first. Are you ready, everybody? You got to wet, wet the whistle before. So, um, yes, here we go. This is in uh, Dr. Seuss style. Right. You guys. So, um, here is a program that's stranger than strange. Before we begin, you may want to arrange a camera, some lighting, a comfortable seat, and maybe a cuppa or something to eat. I'll warn you, of course, before we commence. Our program is brimming with thrills and suspense. There's laughs and adventure and narrow escapes and creatures of many remarkable shapes. Turnbulls and minchins and creatures like me on BBC Breakfast. Indubitably. Ah. So ready your metal and steady your heart. It's time for this morning's 
astonishing start. <laughs> That's brilliant. I like the way the Minchin seems a little bit more gentle than the Turnbull. Yeah, the well, well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speak, Funny, speaking, yeah. as, as speaking professionally as a children, Turnbull does have, you know, has, yes. you know I, I don't mean any offense, but it has a bit of the whiff of an ogre about it, you know, yeah. a Turnbull versus a Minchin. Well, well, a Minchin's a, a, a little say... pixie, a, a trailing, trailing uh, uh, golden nice, dust. Come back any time you like, you know. The people we work with on a daily basis <laughs> would dispute that with you. It's whether I was really I'm sure they would. Not. We've only just met. All I had to go on was, all I had to go one was the name. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, but they are, I mean, they are fantastic books, and people still reading them so many years on as well, aren't they? Oh yeah. I mean, well, he's he's more popular during his lifetime. It was I think three hundred million copies sold in his lifetime, and mm. he's more popular now. Mm. He's been translated into uh, twenty languages in in his lifetime, and more now. He's more popular now than he ever was. Wonderful, Robert. Thanks so thanks much. Thanks for the poem. Particularly for the poem. Thank you. Thank you poem for having me. Dedicated to us before, haven't we? No, there not that I can remember. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I always remember your first time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. Zeus's latest book will be on the shelves in the United States from today. No official release date as yet here in the UK, but doubtless it'll happen. Yes, it is a five.